what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of just life just life for those that can't understand me today we are gonna do what we've been needing to do for a while now we need to make some new crappie condos if you remember my previous video i'll put the link for that right here or here wherever it is somewhere up here and in the description box we're gonna knock out some crappie condos for a new spot that we found however these are going to be a tad bit different because these are going to be one tool only you're going to need one tool to make these crappie condos that's it let me go over the list of things that we're going to use today all of these things you can find anywhere honestly if you got a friend that does construction hit them up um burger kings have buckets you go to the burger king they have pickle buckets they usually just throw them in the trash ask them for those um any scraps you have. What I'm getting at is everything that we're gonna use in the video today, we have had laying around between my house, my dad's house, and one of our buddy's houses. Um, and it costs us zero dollars today. It's gonna to cost us zero dollars to make these, these uh, habitats. Um, so let's go over what we're gonna to use today. So the first things first, uh, good old bucket. Now, a bucket is just something that holds stuff. So we're gonna use more than just a bucket, just to prove proof of concept where you have the bucket uh my dad he had an old battery box we're gonna use that it'll be a little small version um he had an old flower pot so we're gonna try an old flower pot so basically my man's here has stuff all over the house between his and mine that we have uh, that are gonna use for buckets and, shit. and the shed that's correct in the shed second thing you need pvc so my buddy owns an automotive shop. He just got done redoing all of his airlines in his shop. They got rid of all the old PVC. And uh, I said, hey man, don't throw that away. So we have a pile of PVC uh, pre-cut. You're gonna go with like four to six foot length pieces, whatever you want, it's your personal preference. Uh, the next thing that we have is some irrigation, black irrigation pipe. The same pipe that we used in the last video. Uh, we're gonna use that, but not only that, we also have some uh, red and blue pecs, half inch pecs. Again, stuff that we've had laying around the house, the pecs I got, I remodeled a house and I had a bunch of it left over, so we're using that. And last but not least, what's the last, or actually two more things. One of them's his idea. What's the last two things we got? Um, <laughs> well, had, so we had this big winter storm in, in February. Lost, I lost two or three oak trees. I just went out back, cut a few of the limbs off. So we're gonna use these old tree limbs off of oak tree, shove them in there. And uh, that's concrete. You need concrete yeah. water. <laughs> concrete Con water. So there you go. So concrete, tree limbs, water, that's it. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what's the one tool? Because these are one tool crappie habitats. That is a handheld PVC cutter. I got the cheapest one I could find. I think this was like $9 at one of the big box stores. You can get them on Amazon if you want but this will be the only tool you need for these habitats. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're gonna go out here in the yard and we're gonna mix the concrete. If you've never mixed concrete before, it's super easy. Put the concrete mix in the bucket and uh, add water. And this is what that looks like. So you're gonna add I just like a little water in the bottom so it doesn't stick as bad. All that dust. <laughs> make, sure, make sure you stay downwind of the dust. <laughs> Oops. <All right. laughs> so now we're doing mixing it. It's super easy. And these, these habitats are gonna be really easy to make. They're not hard at all. So a little soupy, we're gonna add a little more. And so again, the only tool we bought or are using is the is the pipe cutter. We're using the actual PVC pipe to mix it. That's one inch pipe. How do I get the uh, the camera job? That's what <laughs> you gotta ask me. Clearly you thought You're about this. Switching to me. I'm no, I'm it. kidding. <laughs> oh, Why well, he mixes that up. So in our previous video, you saw the, the buckets had those arms that stuck out through the bottom. We drilled all the holes, put the little arms on those. We're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna do something similar to it, but we're not gonna do that exact thing. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. But again, you're just gonna take the concrete, add some water, mix it. We're gonna make it a little bit soupy, but not much, because we still gotta shove all the pieces into it. So um, that's how you mix the concrete. Okay, so step two, we mixed our concrete, as you can see here. So step two is taking the little black arms, a little irrigation pipe. Remember last time we drilled the holes, we're not gonna do it this time. This time, we're simply gonna 
so that it's curved like this. We're gonna take the bend and put it the bend up so that it bends back toward the ground, just on the lower part. So you're gonna just stick these in, literally, just like that. Bing, bang, boom. We're gonna do a bunch of them like this. And all this is gonna do is help us create basically a little shade, a little lower uh, cover for the crappie. And this is where this tool comes in. So I'm gonna stick this in here, open these up if I can, and we're gonna cut them, you know, about like that. You don't need much. Just, you know, something like that. Something that goes off all the sides. Boom, something like that'll do. So that'll give us our little ground canopy type deal, if you will. Get our mixing stick over here, like that. And then next, all we're gonna do is add the uh, PVC pipes. And so to do that, it's just literally, it's literally just as easy as it sounds. So you're gonna grab pieces of PVC like this, take them, and you're just gonna stick them in there. And so if you have the if you have the concrete consistency correct, the um, the pipes will hold their weight a little bit. They'll be able to. Well, that's a really long one. Let's not do that. So again, you're just gonna put them in here, all different types of angles. And you're just creating that canopy for these fish to hang out in. And then, you know, something like that. You know, these little shorter pieces on this side. What do you think? What do you think, camera guy? Now that you got the job, is that good? Well, I like this job. Uh, so, <laughs> now we're okay, gonna, we, put, no. let's, we normally do just this with PVC and plastic. So let's put a, a, a oak tree limb in there this right. time as well. Okay, so now, now we're gonna come over here, grab a tree limb. So this is all my dad's idea. He wants to add a tree limb. Uh, which one you want to add? Pick one. Looks good. This one. <laughs> so we're going to take this one. And let's just go right in the middle with it. Yeah. Let's go right in the middle. Right in the middle. Like this. Whoop. Perfect. Is that good? Yeah. Try to use this PVC to kind of prop it up a little yep. bit. Voila! That looks, that looks really good. Boom! So there, that's one done. Literally, just that quick. That's one of them done. So, I mean, just that quick. I mean, that was real time. What, maybe five minutes, if that, three minutes? Again, and you can modify this however you want. You can add as many pieces as you want to the bottom. You can add as much PVC as you want. Uh, we'll probably modify it just a little bit, add a little bit more coverage, but you get the principle of the concept here. So, so because those crappie like to be in groups, I, I like this, it being tight, you know, cause remember they, they like to school. So let's, right. yeah, if we make them wide, you know, we have a couple wide ones down there now and they're right. just not as effective. So, right. so you're thinking, try them narrow this time. So you're thinking making them a little bit tighter will, yeah. will be better. I like it, I yeah. like it. Yeah, and we got a couple, you know, they like to suspend between two structures, so here's a great place here, and right. you got all these places. And then these here. branches out here, we yeah. catch a bunch off of, you know, outer limbs and stuff. It, and it, it really doesn't look like much, but if you go to Bass Pro, Cabela's, any of those places with the big fish tanks, and look at the crappie, they're always right up against something. It doesn't matter what it is, but they're always up against something, um, hanging out. And the tree limb, I think it's a great idea. I think that's a phenomenal addition to the uh, to the to the deal. Uh, and again, you can modify these however you want. You can add, I mean, this is literally made out of a bunch of trash. No, no lie. I mean, he's just going to add some straight organic matter. Now that is, I should bring that up. So the wood will help with algae growth, which will help, you know, make it look more natural faster from all my research I've done. Um, PVC will get algae stuff and, and uh, growth on it eventually. It happens way faster with organic matter. How about talk about where you're going to place them at? Um, so placement's going to be along a... So the river comes out and the river, it, it comes off on a flat. So there's a, a, a point off the river that I'm thinking about. It's 30 foot, 40 foot in the river, and then it comes up to 19 foot, mm -hmm. and then there's a point right there. So I'm gonna put it in that 19 foot water on that point, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's for our specific lake. But anyway, let me let me put you on a time lapse. We're gonna make a couple more of these and we'll, and we'll pick back up when we're done with that.
Okay, so he's adding some dry concrete because uh, I made it a little bit too soupy. My bad, dude. <laughs> and uh, we need to stiffen up the mixture just a little bit so it's holding these branches a little bit better. But that's the general idea. One thing I did forget to mention is when you have buckets and they have handles, make sure the handles are up. And I mentioned that in the previous video as well. But make sure that the handles are up. That way, when you go to put them in the lake, it's a little bit easier. You have more control on where you put them and, and how they sit once you throw them in. Um, this little one, you could modify it. You could take this little one like this. If you had like your own uh, pond or a local pond that you wanted to use or whatever, you could take these little guys here and you could throw them in there. Uh, the weight makes it so that if you tossed it, it will land concrete side down, so that is a benefit to it. Luckily, we're going to use the boat and, and lower them to where we want them. But that's the general idea on how you make crappie, uh, crappie habitats super cheap with one tool. And it took us like 20 minutes, and hopefully this provides hours and hours of uh, delicious crappie nuggets. <laughs> okay, they're done. Voila! That's what they look like. Um, so these are about six foot tall. We're gonna place them in the water at about, about 19, foot. 19, 20 foot. Uh, we've got a couple of places in mind. If you're not sure where to place them, a lot of times when the water, like, like my dad said, comes out of a river, there's usually a, a bend or a, a, a straightaway right off the river. Look in those areas, you got concrete in my eye. Sorry if I'm blinking a lot. Um, but that's how we're doing it. Uh, the last thing that you're not gonna see, this is a two part video. The second part is gonna be about placing them in the water. And um, we're gonna tie Coke bottles to the limbs so that as it's descending, it, the Coke bottles are full of air. It's a two liter. It's a two liter Coke bottle. It'll hold the, the top up, basically. It'll keep the limbs suspended when they first get in there, into the water. Um, it'll help hold them up. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you like the video. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And turn the bell on so you get notified whenever we upload new videos. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!